Hello everyone, I'm Miss Best to be a Blessing. This is a reading for my Virgos, Tauruses, and Capricorns. If you're new to my channel, please take a moment to like, subscribe, and comment. If you'd like your own personal reading with me, you can always call me at 347-227-5723. With that being said, let's get right into your reading for today. The first card coming out for you is the Emperor card. You also have the Ten of Staffs, which is the Ten of Wands. This is me that you're sending your ground in regard to a lot of things that have been taking place within your life. With the Ten of Staffs, it tells me that you've been carrying a heavy load. Some of you have been, you know, holding it down in regard to your family, and sometimes it can feel as though it's kind of like a heavy load, but it's okay. You didn't stop. You didn't give up, and that's a wonderful thing. Princess of Cups in the Moon's card. That's a message that's going to be coming in. It could be a secret to you. Um, you're going to find out something, because anything that's done in the dark will definitely come to the light. It also talks about your intuition increasing. It could be a water sign coming toward you, or Scorpio Cancer Pisces coming in to give you some type of message. And, um, yeah, it's going to be a secret. You're not going to know what it is <laughs> until they come relate a message. You could get upset about it, um, you know, but try to keep yourself together in regard to that. Mm. This secret is going to cause a lot of heartache and pain and some type of disappointment here with the Three of Swords. Going on to your next card, you have the Nine of Staffs. You're going to feel very guarded in a sense in regard to the information that does come towards you. I feel like you're going to have to defend yourself here with the Seven of Staffs. Defending yourself. You have been defending yourself against a lot of other people as well. But on top of this, as you can see, you have the Emperor card. So you're standing your ground, defending yourself against others. And with that being said, to your next card, you have the Ace of Staffs and you have the Ace of Swords. The Ace of Staffs is a creativity card out there every day. Um, it lets me know that you're going to be inventing new things, so writing your visions and making it plain. If you can write it down, get you a pen and paper. I always try to keep you a notebook at hand and an ink pen or even a pencil. It, it doesn't really matter as long as you have something to write with. Write down your ideas because you never know. It could blow. It could be a great business for you. Lots of clarity and truth. You stand in your truth. You understand it more. Lots of clarity showing up for you. I also see here, okay, so the cherry card and the nine of cups. You're moving on. You're hitting things head on. Somebody could be moving from one place to another. The nine of cups, lots of wishes being fulfilled here. Be careful what you wish for because you just may get it. Then you have the, all right now, the will of fortune. The will of fortune speaks of... You could be stuck out of one thing going to another, but you also have a lot of financial increase coming in, some type of blessings. Some of you are at a crossroads in your life. I'm here with the two of staffs. Everything is going to be okay for you because I see that you've been planting seeds for prosperity, growth, and wealth with the ace of sacred circles. That's what it talks about. Planting the seeds and watching it grow and taking the time to let it grow. Especially with the sun card coming up behind it, you're going to be extremely happy. Some of you don't put in a lot of hard work into things that you want and you're waiting for the fruition of it. And I'm here to tell you, it is coming. Okay, the next card you have is the princess of sacred circles and you have the two of swords. This lets me know that you're going to have to make a head over heart decision decision in regard to someone or something in your life okay make sure that you're making a decision that's going to be great for you it's always it's about self-preservation it's about you do what you need to do in regard to you to make you happy okay the princess of sacred circle that also has to do with money as well you don't have to make a decision in regard to somebody coming towards you asking you for some type of financial assistance you also have here the seven of sacred circles this is a very beautiful card this card represents there's a lot of abundance that's going to be surrounding you could also be talking about you cooking a lot of food so there could be some type of celebration that's going to be coming up and people are going to be coming to eat that's right you know that's a good thing but lots of abundance here Oh, shit. Here we go. You have the devil card and you got the lover's card. Somebody's feeling like they're... Somebody's obsessed with somebody. Somebody could have bounded somebody to them. And they could be really in love with somebody. And somebody's not feeling the same. As you can see, the the man, he got his hands crossed, crossed. And the woman is down on a... That could be some... Some of you could be in a burst, abusive relationships going through it. You know what I'm saying? Um, From what I'm saying, the man is feeling all... He in his feelings, and the woman is always hurt or kind of be like alone to herself in her thoughts and things like that. But you're bounded to this person. You see what I'm saying? That's why you have to be careful who you fall in love with is what I'm seeing. Okay? Um, also, you guys, 
the lover's card coming up behind. I'm not saying that it's not love there. It could have been love a long time ago, but the devil card, somebody's obsessing of somebody. Somebody could be stalking you as well. You could be overindulging in some things, whether you're overeating or over drinking or whatever it is. You got to get a grip on it. But this is showing abuse here in regard to a loving relationship. Uh, some There once was love within this relationship, but sometimes things can flip. So when something is over, it's time for you to let it go. Let's move on to the next card. See, somebody's going to be walking away with the Eight of Cups. You're walking away from all this abuse, hurt, and pain. Turning your back, giving just somebody your ass a kiss, saying, I'm tired of this situation. And in doing so, you will open up the door for something big and better to come towards you. Because I see the Two of Cups here. Somebody could be interested in somebody else. Now, this is another way you could read this. This man is tired of this woman that he's with, and he wants to be with somebody else. But I see that if you're in an abuse relationship, or whatever it may be, in regard to a lover's relationship, right? As you can see, the woman's on the ground. And this one, with his hands crossed, he ain't having it. He just, in his own feelings, got his nuts all up in a, in a butt. You know what I'm saying? I would have said his boxes in his ass, but he don't have on no boxes. You see what I'm saying? Um, get out of that situation. Um, yeah. Walking away, you're going to give somebody your ass a kiss, and in doing so, you're going to open the door up for, for new love to come in. You have the magician card coming up next for you, as well as the high priest. It means following your intuition in regard to everything that's taking place. You can manifest what you want as long as you happen in love, and you love yourself first. All right, next card coming up for you guys is the Ten of Cups. I hope I explained that good enough for y'all. The Ten of Cups is here. That's lots of emotional fulfillment and happiness that's coming up. I see you getting the victory in regard to a lot of things. There's a new beginning in store for you guys. Look at the full card. So beautiful, so amazing. Some of you are going to be getting a reading here or enjoy listening to tarot card readings. Hopefully, it's leading you toward calling Miss Bliss to get a reading. 347-227-5723. That being said, you also have the star card. This represents an Aquarius individual as well. Lots of healing. I see things balancing out for you. The last card that came out. So there's healing with the star card and temperance card is here. It talks about balance as well as the star card is balancing out too. Because as you can look at these cards, what they have in common. Let me just show you guys. Hold up, sorry. One foot is in the water, one foot on earth. That means you have to be balanced. Sometimes you may feel like you're off kill. That means something ain't right. And you got to heal some shit. All right. The star card represents a wish being fulfilled. So you can go on and make a wish. This is the Sagittarius card. So you could be dealing with the Sagittarius individual. And I did say that this is an Aquarius. Well, Earth signs, I hope you enjoyed this reading. I am. It's best to be a blessing. If you're new to my channel, please take a moment to like, subscribe, and comment. Um, yeah. <laughs> Have a truly blessed day. Thank you.